do you want to see a 30 year old man trying to assemble a cardboard box would you like to see that would you like to see a video of a 30 year old man trying to assemble a cardboard packing box so that he can get ready to move yes i'm sure you would like to see that i'm sure you would like to see a 30 year old man expertly put together a cardboard box i know you would what can i put in here purse that thing yeah i guess fuck it by the way i've never seen somebody assemble a cardboard box that way and like pat the sides i don't know what the pat does what does that pat do on the side of the box someone let me know maybe i'm over analyzing things but what does the pat on the side of the cardboard box do what does that do purse that thing yeah i guess fuck it what does that pat do who knows I always forget it's like <laughs> I always forget. Yo yo big up big up big up big up big up Timu Kazi big up Timu Kazi Wagwan Grande Grande box dude <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> What's that punch do? I don't know. I've gone so good at taping since yesterday. Watch how he tapes the box, by the way. Keep in mind, this is a cardboard box that you need to put things in that you're going to be moving with. Maybe heavy, maybe whatever. Just bear in mind how cardboard boxes are usually taped up. Think about an Amazon box. Think about when you've packed up. Think about how you tape a box. Just keep that in mind and watch where he places the tape on the box. Bro, look at that. <laughs> Professional ass tape. <laughs> oh no. Good, good. What type of taping is that? Why has he left the main section of the box that should be taped first, which is the middle? Why has he left that completely open? And and what what? Is he incapable of does he not know how boxes are usually taped up? If you put anything in it with any type of weight, won't it just fall through? Is the tape actually taut around the box? Is that even packing tape? I don't know. I don't know. Why is it like not sticking? Now we're going across. Nice. Boom, dude. Are you seeing what's happening? Have you ever seen somebody tape a cardboard box this way? If you're not watching this and you're listening to this in the background somewhere, he's taping the bottom of a cardboard box in an almost crosshatch type of way, but he's not going over the main seam in the middle that you're meant to tape up. So he's exposing that main seam so that when you put stuff inside the box, all the weight is going to be taken up by the tape. So it's most likely to break. Whereas if you tape it in the middle first, as taut as possible, you're going to reinforce and almost increase the rigidity in the cardboard box because you're taping it as tight as you can along where the flaps are in the middle, like a regular person would. And then maybe you can increase the, you know, rigidity of it by extra tape as he's doing now but he is satisfied with this at the moment could you imagine this being somebody that you know could you imagine this being a life partner I made it upside down. Somehow he's managed to tape the box upside down. <laughs> so now if there are things in there that need to be put up a certain way and he gets movers to put the boxes in the van, which he probably will, you assume, they're probably not going to know which way up is right and it's probably going to fuck up the things inside it. Doesn't matter, but, you know, nice little detail. Fuck it, that doesn't matter. Right? By the way, is there something wrong with his back or something? Or is he just a bit tapped? 
Do you think he's got something wrong with him, like developmental issues and shit? The way he stands. Just just look at the way he stands and his posture. Is that just because of like, being hunched over on the computer? Or is he like, or is that, because he's got that thing that, that people do that are a bit redacted, where it's, it's a simple task and he's like super concentrating. He wants to poke his tongue out, but he's not doing it that bad. He's not like Brendan, but he's almost like really, really concentrating to get this right. Like trying to figure it out. Like this is a, a complicated mathematical equation or something. Should I add one more piece of tape to it? Right, I'm gonna add one more. Down the middle. One more down the middle, just to be safe. Like there's something about how he's standing and his posture that makes me think he's not all there in the head. Or maybe it's just the way that he's standing trying to be comedic and shit. I'm not too sure. He's finally got the tape where it should be now. Finally got it where it should be. Now he has no idea what he's putting inside the box. I don't know how which way it works. Maybe you'd have an idea of what you want to put in the box. Maybe you put those things to the side and then you put them in the box once it's taped. But you know what you're doing. Look at the first thing that he grabs to put inside of a cardboard box. Just look at the first thing that he grabs to put inside of a cardboard box to move with to this new humble abode. Look at the first thing he grabs. Of course, he's grabbing a bag. He's grabbing a bag to put inside of a box. A bag that could easily be used to carry other things inside it. He's now using that bag to put, like, taking up space inside of a box to put a bag in it. We could probably use this to carry stuff, like laundry. Yeah, you could. Clothes. You could use it as a deep, a you know. As an unorthodox carrier bag or something. Maybe put some laundry in it, maybe some t shirts or something. But no, that's okay. Let's fold up the bag. Let's fold up the extra big tote bag and put it out of the box. That makes a lot of, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Alright, let me get the chat up on the other screen too. I saw this earlier and I was perplexed. I was like, this guy's nearly 30 years old, isn't it? This guy is like a mature adult, no? Pays taxes and shit, looks after himself and shit. And this is what, you know, no idea how to pack. No idea how to assemble a cardboard box, not to pack. Jesus Christos. Big up, Theodore. Yuri should start a civil lawsuit against the public school system he went to. <laughs> Brother. Brother, it's pretty shocking, isn't it? It's pretty shocking how redacted he is. It's pretty shocking. But it's not like... I'm not somebody that... Even though I take a lot of pride in my intellect, right? I take a lot of pride in how cultured I am and how wise and how intelligent I am and how well-read I am, right? You can see by the books around me, right? You see the, you see the Adolf Hitler book, right? You know what time it is. Even though I take a lot of pride in the amount of books I've been read, so malaki, I don't. I think having like life knowledge, having like you know general knowledge of how to conduct yourself as an adult, is just as important, if not more important, than how book smart you are. The ability to know how to open a bank account, the ability to know how to like I don't know fix your bike, the ability to know how to unplug a drain, you know how to turn off the fucking water if it's if it's leaking, how to iron your clothes, you know, all those type of things. How to put things on auto pay, how to not miss bills, you know? What to do if you're ill, what to eat, what kind of home remedies you can make for yourself to alleviate some of the pain and whatever maybe, how to make a soup, like this standard like adult shit. I value that just as much as I value a really good education, a really good reading list. And I think when, especially when men, there's something I have intrinsically about me that I get weirdly annoyed and frustrated by. And I think it's similar to Rogan. I remember Mike Redbar making a good point about Rogan, where he said Rogan, when Chris and Stefano was on Rogan, he was like, Chris and Stefano represents like everything Rogan hates. The chaos, the uncertainty, the lack of discipline, 
the sensitivity, right? Like, it's just he can't. That's not what he sees as a man. And I think with me, one of my one of my weird toxic traits is that I think men who can't look after themselves, men who are not self reliant, self resilient, um, you just taking up space. You know, like you have to be baby. Like you're only nearly thirty years old and you don't know how to tape a box. First of all, you tape it the wrong way around. Even though it's got an arrow, it's clearly labeled. It's like a proper branded. They even bought those boxes, right? Real men just figure it out, right? You go to like a fucking shop, you ask people, you get them from the back of the store, you figure out, you don't buy brand new cardboard boxes. If you're going to buy them, cool, do. Buy a brand new cardboard box. The cardboard box is a proper branded one and it has arrows and shit around it that tells you how to construct it probably. It probably has instructions on a box of how to fold it, of how to tape it. And it's got a massive arrow that tells you which way around it should be. And he still messes it up. That for me is a questionable, questionable questionable adult like how are you not able to tape a cardboard box and how is the first thing you put in the cardboard box a uh you know a gigantic tote bag <laughs> the first thing you put in the cardboard box is a gigantic tote bag that's what you really need right that's what that's what that's what that's what took you that's what's um necessary at this moment with the move is to put a giant tote bag in the cardboard box you just assembled yeah, that makes sense. That makes all the sense. But I'm glad I wasn't the only one who thought that that stream or that particular video was nonsensical because he has one of the best stream chats ever. If you ever want to chuckle, if you want, if you ever want to laugh, I do recommend you check out Yuri's streams on Kick. Subscribe if you want to be a fan of his show. Check him out. He's got a stream, a channel on YouTube too. I think it's just called Yuri 2 or something like that. Um, check it out on there. But if you ever want to laugh and if you ever want to giggle, I recommend you check out Yuri's stream and you check out his stream chat in particular because they have one of the best and most funniest stream chat I've seen in my life. And some of the donors that come through legitimately make me laugh. And this is one of them because this person echoed some of my thoughts seeing him trying to put together that cardboard box. Toki Schmann dropped a bag of $2. Does this remind anyone else of the time that they left their eight-year-old son to pack their own room? When we moved out of Compton, I left my son to pack his own room and it took him three days. He ate fruit snacks he found under his carpet. Pray for Riley. <laughs> what? <laughs> I honestly love, I honestly love his stream chat. His stream chat might be one of the funniest ever. The donors that come through, the troll donors are so fucking good. Pray for Riley. He reminds me of my eight-year-old trying to pack. <laughs> Honestly, one more time. That was such a good donor. One more time. One more time, please. One more friggin' time. Oh, my God. Toki Schmann dropped a bag of $2. Does this remind anyone else of the time that they left their eight-year-old son to pack their own room? When we moved out of Compton, I left my son to pack his own room and it took him three days. He ate fruit snacks he found under his carpet. Pray for Riley. <laughs> what? <laughs> that cope laugh is brilliant. Pray for Riley. Not even pray for Yuri. Pray for Riley. Oh, God almighty, man. God almighty. But to be fair anyway to them, hopefully they have a good moving away trip. Hopefully everything goes well. 